A mile from Belcou on the Garrison Road lies a sacred holy well. Elders have long since told stories of how St. Patrick came to Fermanagh to this well, bringing Christianity with him. The Holy Well had been there long before St. Patrick arrived, where people came together to worship the sun, stone and water. St. Patrick allowed the parishioners to keep their rituals, but he integrated Christian prayers into the tradition. Celebrating Lunasa, the festival of the harvest, people have continued to pray throughout the month of August, just as St. Patrick did at the turn of the 4th century. Maria O'Dolan has been participating in this pilgrimage for nearly 80 years, and although she admits some small customs may have been altered, the main ceremony is exactly the same as the early pagans would have carried out. First of all, we start at the, at the, at the eye of the well, the old people used to call it and you say the prayers and then you move in a clockwise motion and that's the worship of the sun. We prayed between the two trees, between the ash trees. We stood and then we knelt and we finished round there three times round the well with the prayers and then we moved across the field up the stone steps and across the main road and into the churchyard. Prayed around the church many prayers, the set prayers of it. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From hence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints. The and there you had the worship of um, the stone outside the churchyard wall. We moved the body around. This I did uh, a show because not everybody does it, but we did it when we were young. And I'm a lot older than a lot of them, I remember what we did. So I did it just to let you see it, but you don't have to do it. Now the worship of the water, there's the three things that they had, the rituals. The water is worshipped by wading through it right down the whole way to the mill stream, down to the old mill, through the, the, the mill stream, which is the coldest water in the kingdom. Well, it is special because it's part of our heritage. And it's a very holy place in a sense that there's peace and tranquility to be found there, even if you never said a prayer, just to, to look and to listen is a prayer in itself. But then from all the time down the years, people have got used to making the pilgrimage. Long ago, it was, there was a lot of emphasis put on the, on the pilgrimage. And there is today too, but not so much. Um, we, we didn't talk so much about cures long ago at the Holy Well. It was mostly just to go there to pray and to do penance as Patrick did, to follow in the footsteps of Patrick, Sanel and Tiernach and all those holy um, people who went before us in the early days of Christianity. It's good for us, it's part of our heritage and it's good for the soul and it's good for um, the body as well. It is difficult but it's not impossible.
and once you do it one, once you do it at all, you get a great feeling of satisfaction from it. If you would like to keep this tradition alive, there will be another pilgrimage taking place on Sunday the 15th of August at 7.30pm. But if that doesn't suit, it will be running next year and hopefully for many more years to come. Ashlyn Hagen for MANA TV.